Oh, sweet. You're ready to get it screwed over by a bird. In fact, like, bum rush it. Get away. Alright, um, room you. Whoa. Why you don't rush into things, Harry? Uh, searching. How am I doing this? You weren't supposed to go to the left. I wasn't? That's... So head to the right. So head to the right. Oh, Whoa. wow. I don't even know. Uh, what just happened? Wait, wait, you didn't wait, have wait. to. As you pass through this area, you will be set upon by a gigantic bot master. Okay, so go to the right? Like, where are you right now? Where are you right now? Where the elevator is. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. So head to the right. So head to the right. And right. you'll find a gigantic you'll bot master. Okay. It's basically like a big amalgamation like a big of. Jeez. Things. Skills! Um, wait. Oh, where, where are you? Where are you? Uh, dead end. Oh, load again. Where's the bot master? Where's the bot master? Well, it's just this room and this guy. And then there's a dead end, dead end over here with a bubble. I can't do anything there. Um. Okay, maybe the guide is wrong. Try heading left when you drop down to the fake floor. Oh, right, okay. So I was going the right way last time. Yay! Okay. Now what? Uh, I'm heading left to. Right, right didn't work. Right didn't work. Maybe left will. <laughs> Pass through this area, you'll be set up on by. Where's the bot master? Oh, here we go. Sheesh. Oh, whatever. I don't care. Alright, um. Let's see, what is it? You'll find a crumbling bridge with a bubble bouncing around underneath. As you cross, you'll encounter views on the surface of the bridge. When you reach the middle of the room, you'll encounter a narrow shaft. Which reminds you a bit of previous palaces. Allow the bridge to crumble over the shaft so you can drop down to room W below. Oh, this yep, one. down the chimney. Santa Claus. I mean, you are an elf, basically. Alright. Alright. Okay. Left or right? Go to the left. Go to the left. Oh, this one. Yeah, familiar. Oh! You were supposed to find. You were excuse me. You were supposed to find potions there, potions there. or enemies, but the game wasn't been nice. Like um. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, this is it. The fight you are about to engage in is one of the toughest fights in the whole game, possibly even tougher tougher than the fight to follow. Oh, it's Thunderbird. Thunderbirds are go. Not necessarily difficult to defeat the Thunderbird, but due to the strategy required to beat him, you are left with substantially less magic than usual. When you arrive in the center of... You may want to pause this, actually. When you arrive in the center of the platform in the room, the Thunderbird will appear all red. No matter what you do in this form, it is invulnerable. You know, when a harm is to cast Thunder, and turn it blue so you can see its face. Once you do this, its weak point is exposed. Actually, the dot in the headdress is just above the face. 
The hunt, the a thunderbird will hover overhead. Stream fireballs at you at various angles. Casting reflect will drastically reduce the threat posed by the thunderbird as it will block the fireball. Casting jump and shield is not required at all, but is highly recommended. This will not leave you with enough to cast life, but in this case, the ability to cast shield is more valuable. You must carefully dodge the fire, which you, which you can lead by moving in various directions. And jump up and jump up to strike the weak point above the face. When you reduce Thunderbird's health by half, it begins to double the range. It spreads fireballs into the air. Oh my! Excuse me. For... I'm gonna have to try and go back. I need I need a potion. Cause thunder takes too much. Why did you do this to me, game? What a load. What a load. Barnacles. Fine. Oh, yay! <laughs> well, it doesn't make a restore point now. Bird. I'm failing already, come on. Alright, so I've always been confused about the presence of this creature. It's like... Yeah, what even is this, like, about, like... I mean, is this like... Uh, okay, the best of something I can make is that... Since the majority of the villains in this game are trying... Or Ganon minions trying to get revenge. I'm guessing Thunderbird's like a pet? Maybe a mercenary that the, the minions hired. Maybe it's just... Ganon's pet. <laughs> oh, finally. Let's do this. Yo, know, the. Only thing stopping me from being skating. Dark Link doesn't count because I can just cheat that. Are you a man for doing it though? Man for doing it though. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not a man because I <laughs> anymore because I've been using save state, so it doesn't even count. But I don't care. Dang it. I'm so confused. Like, what so is confused. that? What is that? Goodness knows. You know, what if it's, uh, what are those, what things, are those things called? Those birds and Skyward Sword. The lock? Which ones? Hmm? Which ones? Like the birds that Link ride, Link and Zelda ride. Uh, nah, they weren't this creepy. You know, Zoras weren't this creepy in Ocarina of Time, but then they just became... That's weird, they were... They're all... Huh, that, that's a good thing, question, actually, because, like... Maybe, like, because Loftwings weren't used for so long after Skyward Sword, they just de-evolved into this? I don't know. What was I trying to say? Um, yeah, I know the arts, yeah, I know art departments of Nintendo probably changed in between the 10 years of Classic Zelda and Ocarina of Time. But, I mean, the Zoras in Ocarina of Time look vaguely human and, I guess you could say, cute. But... Yeah. I love the Zora design. Yeah, the NES Zelda, those things look monstrous. monstrous. They're a monstro. So, who knows? Maybe, who oh knows? my gosh. How much... Wait. Doesn't even have a hitbox on her. Wait, what do you mean? Like... You literally just pass jump... by it and it won't hurt you. It's a fire. Yeah, the, only the fireballs hurt. It's good to know. I mean, think it's so big, if it did have a hitbox, it'd be nonsensical. Oh, I can't even do the up thrust. That doesn't make any sense, come on. Like, if I hit you with a sword, it should hurt you regardless of how I did it. Wait, what is hitting me now? Fireballs that keep on... Like, you can... The fireballs are based on your direction. Oh, okay. Or try and lure them away. 
Oh, this is gonna take ages. Basically, be as erratic in your movements as the enemies have been for this whole game. Are you hearing little children outside of my house? Wait, what? Are you hearing children outside my house? No, I don't hear anything. Good. I keep on forgetting got the laser sword. I keep on forgetting that Link has a laser sword when he's at full health. It doesn't do jackal in this game though. Like it doesn't hurt anyone, I swear. At least it looks cool in this cartoon. <laughs> the cartoon makes it look like really overpowered. Really a lot more overpowered than it actually is. Hmm. Like, from what I've seen, at least. We could use some more videos and cartoons. Cartoons. <laughs> oh, did you hear, hear about that one? Uh, I think it, it was um, a fake leak about, like, a... Netflix it? Zelda series. Yeah, that. Yeah, I was, you know, that was, that was the only good news Nintendo got in 2015. <laughs> <laughs> I I would have been down for it, but I mean, I yeah I I'd, I'd like to see a new take on the Zelda show. I'm not sure how it would work if they sure didn't. Work, they, they I'm didn't. pretty sure Miyamoto would rather Miyamoto would cut better. off his own foot than make Link talk. But make Link uh. talk. yeah, I mean I'm I'd I'd be well for a game at least I'd be fine with everyone but Link talking. But like a show, I don't know if you could do that. The question is, it's like, li hmm? if if like Link's like the center of uh, attention, eighty percent of the of the time, how are you gonna keep people interested in him if he's not gonna talk? Tom and Jerry don't talk. Tom and Jerry don't talk. That's true, but that's because of the way the get the that show is um, handled. Uh, like uh, Zelda isn't really a comedy kind of thing. You could probably make it one if you tried, but I don't know. The 80s cartoon tried to be a romantic comedy. <laughs> Wait, what? The 80s car Zelda cartoon tried to be a romantic comedy, basically. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Excuse me for it's nice. I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy. Yeah, almost done. I, I kind of miss Smart Ass Link. <laughs> I like Toon Link because he actually has a personality a little bit. I like Toon Link because he actually has a family. Yeah, he actually has ex an expression to things that are going on. Instead of like every other Link, it's like... Mm. Actually, no, that, that's not that's not true. Uh, Twilight Princess Sky and Sword Link. Now it's sort of like has actually, some personality. personality. Yeah, essentially every Link after Wind Waker... And Wind Waker, for that matter. The, those guys all had personality. Mm -hmm. Pretty much everyone else. Everyone N64 that, Link, that's a stoic Link. Yeah. No disrespect to the fans of those games, but Link, he's obviously. He really is the. He really is just the media. He really is just a middleman between the player and the game. At least in the first Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. Like, the other games, I. I like Link as a character. For, uh, like he's not amazing. Like he's as basic as you can get, even in like those games. But at least there's something there. Uh, you know what? Even though Karina time to the piss out of him every once in a while. Like when the Gorons want to hug. Yes. Thunderbirds are not going. Well, that's, that's, this has been a Zelda 2 Let's Play with ScrappyFan92 and whatever Harry's channel is called. Super Mario Sonic Lover? Yeah, uh, Super Mario Sonic Lover. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I'm not even... This doesn't deserve an actual fight. How you doing, Doctor? What is this? What is this? What is this bullcrap? 
Who was that old man? Uh -huh. What is the relevance to this? Oh no, don't hit me. You may have a store point, right? You may have a store point, right? Let me get one here. You're turtling. You're turtling. Yeah! That's hilarious. I don't care. Yeah! Speed, just slide across the floor. Oh man! Oh, Triforce. I can't believe I actually, I actually beat this game. Really cheaply. Don't care. You don't did it. But... Well done. Well done. You ended the pain. You ended the pain. Oh, So, is this the first game that actually had three pieces of the Triforce shown off? I think so. Because, like, the first game was just... You're collecting the Triforce of Wisdom, I think. Save Hyrule and you are a real hero. Yeah. That's not even his Zelda from his timeline. What if she just whispered in his ear that I haven't brushed my teeth in 10,000 years? <laughs> that would be the best plot to a server. And thus the shipping of Zelda and Zelda began. Pretty much. Executive producer, Hiroshi Yamaguchi. Okay, well, final thoughts. <laughs> well, I have nothing to add really. I. I like the fact that they tried something new, but I just wish yeah, they toned it down a bit. Yeah, hun. Yeah. Who's that? Is that Miyamoto? Is that Miyamoto? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. I give up. Well, um, you know, I complained about this game, not without reason, but there is certainly merit to it. I can respect it for trying something new. It's the nonsensical enemy placement that, I'm, that most of my complaints come from. Yeah, if it if it actually had better level design and like the enemies weren't so bullcrap so early on, I I think I'd consider this a good game. It's just like the the the, the design around it is just the problem. Like the actual the actual game works mostly fine. I well, think. it's really not as cryptic and <clears throat> it's really not as cryptic and clunky than Zelda One. Yeah. To be no more cryptic and clunky. Like if. Like, I could, I would play a remake of this. Yeah. Yeah, if they make a, a better version, like that's actually, a, you're actually able to be it without save states or something. Can be beat then save yeah, states. Be, we just, just noobs. I'd be down for that if they actually made it, made it like work. But, um, anything else you want to say before we close? Um, hmm, let's see. I really like the temple theme. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't care too much about any of the other tracks. Like, the temple and the great temple theme are really good. I love the remixes they made in Smash. Oh my gosh, yes. I like how they mentioned Impine, we never see her in the game, actually. Yeah. She's an old lady in Zelda 2. Mm. <clears throat> like, it's just so, so weird. Wait, I'm sorry, his most adventuresome quest. That's a word. You know what? Screw it. Um, what was I gonna say? Sorry, just a general comment on Zelda 2 and the old Zelda games, like, pre-98. They do, they do really feel like their own, they have their own special charm to them before Ocarina of Time kind of introduced everyone else. Reintroduced everyone else to it. Yeah. I, like I can, I can, I can, I, I, I wouldn't mind them going back to that, which I guess they kind of are with Breath of the Wild. I suppose so. Hmm. Well then, I guess that's it then. Yep. I got nothing else to, else to say. Again, I like the con. I like that they tried something new. Level design could be better. I like the temple themes, and um, well, I like again. I like I like that they introduced a couple of things that were became standard for the series, like the magic meter, um, towns, I suppose. Oh, um, very, very true. And some other miscellaneous stuff, I guess. So it 
this game does does have its place in the in the series, but as I've said in the past, I I just haven't really I just don't really enjoy playing this. Like after going through all the torture, it's just it's just kind of not worth. Whatever you beat it, so that means you are a better gamer than me. A better gamer than me. So congratulations. It depends how you see it because I <laughs> used so many save don't care. states. It counts. Don't care. It counts. Anyways, though, uh, I think we're done here, so thanks for watching. I've been Super Mario Sonic Lover. I am Platformer Fan, and I am very grateful that Harry let me on to this. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for sticking with my complaints this whole time, and I hope we have our game to uh, I think I think it's just justified this game, but yeah, whenever we do another game together, it's going to be a lot more calming than this, I... I promise. Yeah, we'll play with the, yeah, the guy next time. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Good night and good luck. Good night and good luck.